Well, the watch on your wrist and the watch hanging on your wall suffer from what is known as clock drift. Atomic clocks, on the other hand, are so precise, they literally have all the time in the universe to drift just one-tenth of a second, making them the most precise timekeepers on the planet. As Chad Brummett reports for New Mexico Frontiers, Sandia National Labs is racing to make the smallest atomic clock ever made. Have you ever wondered how the GPS in your car or phone can pinpoint your exact location with increasing accuracy? Well, it's a matter of time, so to speak. Atomic time, to be precise. Utilizing the building blocks of life combined with the speed of light, atomic clocks are an integral part of global positioning and tracking. By synchronizing signals from satellites and ground-based cell towers, atomic clocks are the keystone technology behind Google Maps, Waze, and other navigation software. And for those, all this kind of application, we really need a very precise timekeeping capability in order to achieve uh, that kind of capability. The atomic clock was developed in 1947 by Harold Lyons and the National Bureau of Standards, which would later become the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST. Unlike a conventional clock, which uses astronomical events like the rising and setting of the sun, an atomic clock uses atomic oscillation. Yeah, boy! Which has extremely precise and fast cycles of measurement. The best atomic clock today, you lose 0.1 second for the entire lifespan of the universe which is 13.8 billion years. Yunyu Zhao is an atomic physicist with Sandia National Labs. He's leading one of the two teams at the labs developing the world's smallest atomic clock. Now, the labs are no stranger to the technology either. In early 2000, Sandia helped to develop the chip scale atomic clock. This device, which is a little larger than a matchbook, has been the industry standard since 2011 and is still the smallest atomic clock on the market. But Zhao says he and his colleagues are working to change that. People want something even smaller, not just smaller. So usually they, they, they talk about the size, the weight, and power. They want smaller size, lower weight, and lower power consumption. And especially, you know, for like mobile or portable application. So just how small are we talking? According to the labs, the projected size of the clock, once completed, will be about the size of a grain of rice. Zhao says that this can prove invaluable in employing atomic clocks into personal devices down the road. All right, wait, wait, wait. Didn't I say at the beginning of this story that your phone's GPS is already using the technology? Well, the answer is yes and no. While Google Maps and your car's navigation systems are using atomic clock data synchronized through satellite and control towers on the ground equipped with clocks, your device itself doesn't have the technology built into it yet. If the weather is good or you are not inside the tunnel, it's all good. You know, you, you can have very precise timing because you don't need a local device. But it's really in a situation, for example, if the weather is really bad or uh, there's some natural disasters, uh, you just lose your cell phone tower signal or you lose your satellite signal. You still want to maintain the capability of doing navigation or communication, then atomic, this miniature atomic cloud device can enable that, can make that happen. And this could be a game changer for more precise navigation, data collecting, and in a theater of combat, providing our troops with greater information, which could mean less time in the battlefield and American lives saved. Chad Brummett, KRQE News 13. Jeff's team is making steady progress on their endeavor. The lab's project that the project rather that the world's smallest atomic clock could be online in as little as five years.